Ra. Am no longer tragic spinster, but proper girlfriend of bona fide sex god. So committed that he's taking me on a full-blown mini-break holiday weekend. Just promise me we don't have to sit in any little boats and read poncy poetry to each other. He's also agreed to protect me at Uncle Jeffrey's hideous Tarts and Vickers fancy dress party. This can't be just shagging. A mini-break means true love. Suddenly feel like screen goddess in manner of Grace Kelly. Though perhaps ever so slightly less elegant under pressure. It's very quiet here, isn't it? Are we, uh, are we the only guests? Or... We have a wedding this weekend. I believe there are just four of you not involved. Hmm. Hmm. You do the boats, I'll do the tea. Oh, Jesus. Hello there. Hi. Oh, well. Take it you're also heading for the Alcumbrys Rockery. Yes, that's right. I brought Natasha. Get a bit of work done, thought I might make it a not entirely wasted weekend. How interesting. What a gripping life you do lead. Yeah, well, I'll, um, I'll see you upstairs in a second. Mm. Well, the weakness of their case lies in the deposition they made on August 30th. Season of mist and... Fruitlessness. Oh, fuck me, I love Keats. Have you heard this one? There was a young woman from Ealing who had a peculiar feeling. She lay on her back and opened her crack and pissed all over the ceiling. Oh, bollocks, for sure. Oh, God. I'm boring you, Blake. I can't you say no alternative. I'm king of the world. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll piss bollocks. <laughs> All right, that's it. Stupid ass. <laughs> Box. 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 So childish. <laughs> yes. Hey, Charles. Come on in. Water's lovely. Why are you working too hard, mate? <laughs>